pretty much every previous season to get the aftermarket parts you had to do a challenge so it required you to wait for the weekly but you are able to unlock a few of these early every patch notes that we get for the season it's the list about seven or eight aftermarket parts that people kind of get excited about and for whatever reason they allow you to unlock a few early this time around and i don't think it's intended because when you complete the challenge it has some kind of like weird name that pops up like they haven't finished that part but that's happened plenty of times in the game before so normally we can't see the weeks that we have out uh, but as you can see here in the weekly challenges we'll get one here there all the way up until eight weeks this is a list of the new aftermarket parts that are coming uh, we already expected these like I said week by week the harbingers week one uh, I would imagine that these will be like week two through five or something like that because they already added the decimator which is for the lockman shroud converts it to a full auto so it ends up being like the lock and sub kind of a weird redundancy there but it is a little bit better than the lockman sub currently so it could be a little bit of fun and then the jack intimidator uh this one's for the renetti so you can unlock both of these uh through challenges and to unlock this all you got to do is get 30 operator kills with the suppressed smg it doesn't have to actually be the lockman shroud to unlock the lockman shroud aftermarket part and then when it comes to the renetti pretty much the same thing you can get 15 headshot kills with pistols and you can play that in multiplayer or Warzone. So now that I've unlocked them, I've already added them to my spreadsheet, which auto populated here. Unfortunately, two out of three, not so great. Uh, we can go ahead and kind of search this. If we go to the M4, you can see over here, not too great. 700 plus is not good for close quarters. Uh, long range, not so great either, especially when you consider the recoil. Uh, when we go to the Renetti, also not the craziest good thing because it's all the way down here at 121st up close. And then at range, it's not particularly good either. Coming in at 1,000 TTK, but not really all that great. But luckily, Lockman Shroud gives us a chance to relive the MP5 yet again. Um, if we go ahead and look at this over here, we can see that it comes in at 39th at 675. Overall, pretty easy to control recoil, good fire rate. Um, it may kill a little bit slower, but it is full auto. So that's always going to be a plus. He's got to sacrifice the attachment. So I should have a close range meta uh, coming up here pretty soon. I just thought I'd go ahead and go over the new stuff that was added with season four. Uh, obviously, we'd go with the 50 round mag. We like the iron sights. We know the recoil pulls a certain way. Um, so maybe we would dive into mobility and use whatever MW3 attachments we can because the MW2 attachments are pretty restrictive and tend to suck. So it kind of limits what we're able to do here. The bullet velocity is not great. We can't make it better there. Uh, we can only make it better here, but that's going to kind of slow it down on the other areas. But we can go up to 14 meters with that TTK. So that's the other thing that holds it back. If you were able to use all MW3 attachments, you'd probably be better off. Uh, but you can see right here, Feels like the Lockman sub that we're used to. You can see the general recoil pattern goes a little bit of a curve. So it would just be probably more usable on keyboard and mouse, but at close range, you're really not gonna have to deal with it. Let me know your thoughts of them. I, I, I like that the idea of aftermarket parts. I just wish it came out a little bit broken. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.